set to spend roughly about one third of their lives sleeping. But knowing me, I'd probably spend a little bit more than that doing so. Sleep has become such a basic, fundamental part of our lives. Barely anyone stops to wonder why. Why is sleep so important? Now, one way to understand the importance of sleep is to analyze what would happen in the absence of it. Lack of sleep has proven to cause things like hallucinations, paranoia, blurred visions, slurred speech, and memory and concentration lapses. It essentially disrupts our brain's ability to function. Now, being a teenager, I've certainly had my fair share of all-nighters, as I'm certain many of you have, and we're both probably familiar with the after effects, mainly consisting of the urge to rip everyone's head off, as every single being on the planet instantaneously becomes 20 times more annoying. <laughs> now, Napoleon, Florence Nightingale, and Margaret Thatcher all operated on a measly four hours a night. They were such intelligent, influential people who made a world's worth of a difference in the 20 hours that they were awake. What if they could do what they did without even those four hours of sleep. That's four hours a night, every night of the week. In a single week, Florence Nightingale would have had 28 more hours which she could dedicate to treating wounded soldiers, cuts, gashes, tears, and broken limbs. Multiply that by the amount of weeks she poured out her dedicated therapeutic touch and emotionally and physically healed traumatized war heroes. And she was just one woman, which brings me to wonder, what if we could all operate on no sleep, too? We've all dreamt and hoped, eyelids drooping, a big test or assignment dawning upon us, that the need to sleep would just vanish and disappear and cease to exist. And just as often, we have all fallen victim to said sleep, you know, this deep, tantalizing, seductive sleep. Now, don't get me wrong, because I love sleep just as much as the next person. In fact, probably more. However, there are not enough hours in the day with six to eight hours of school, extracurriculars, homework, and a preferred social life, and to add to that, our eight hours of prescribed sleep. Now, if we were to take sleep out of the equation, evidently, everyone seems to be a lot happier. Now, let's just rewind and paint a hypothetical picture of what would happen if we didn't need to sleep. Teachers would probably sit in a little corner in a dark room and grade papers because I believe that makes them happy considering the amount of work they give us. <laughs> For all you doctors, congratulations, you'd have even less of a social life because say hello to endless hours on call. For us students, that would probably mean an insane, ridiculous amount of homework. Now, criminals would probably have more time to plot their evil schemes and conspire wicked plans, while the likes of Jason Silva would probably use it to generate creativity and formulate innovativeness. For all you alcoholics out there, prepare to say an earlier farewell to your liver. Now, the police would probably have more time to live up to their motto that is protect and serve, as we can so clearly see. And all you politicians, well, you now have more time to corrupt our world. Well done. Something that I cannot help but wonder, though, is would it change our evolution pattern, giving us reason to develop our visibility at night a couple thousand years from now? Quite possibly. Moving on, increased hours in the day would mean that productivity and efficiency would have exponentially increased, creating a race capable of technological growth at a much faster pace than ever before conceived. It is said that technology doubles every 18 to 24 months. If humans were to go without sleep, could it be possible that this figure could drop to as low as every year or even every six months? Looking at how our society has grown at such a substantial rate in their waking hours, one can't help but wonder what we could achieve with all 24 hours at our disposal. Now, I'm going to get into some science relating to the topic, so stay with me. We have long fantasized about, ironically, the dream of sleeplessness. And now, like an answer to our prayers, scientists are developing a nasal spray consisting of a natural hormone called orexin A that is said to reverse the effects of sleep deprivation. The test was conducted on monkeys, and the monkeys receiving that orexin A performed just as well on cognitive tests as monkeys that were alert and well-rested, and the hormone made their brains look awake in PET scans. So essentially what it does is it reduces sleepiness without causing edginess. It is literally a dream come true for those suffering with sleep disorders, such as narcolepsy, which is essentially sudden and uncontrollable episodes of deep sleep. Research shows that the absence of Rex and A is what causes the narcolepsy, and so this break could prove to be absolutely life-altering. Now, elaborating on that last word, it will undoubtedly change our lives, be it for better or for worse. 
I've already discussed the benefits of it. However, there are some relatively indirect effects upon humanity that could stem from such a breakthrough should it be made available to the public. Firstly, a huge sum of money will be spent on years and years of researching and experimenting, and then if that works out, even more money will be splurged on the inevitable increase in the use of resources and on food and water, and if you're anything like me, you might have to triple that last value. Point is, everything would be used up at a much greater pace as we would be living a 24 hours a day, seven days a week lifestyle, and so we'd be destroying the Earth about a third faster than we already are. Then comes the concerns regarding the distribution of the product. Would everyone be obligated to use it, or are we just going to offer it to those who can afford it? How much would it cost? Would we impose restrictions on the use of the product, or perhaps would it have to be prescribed? Would everyone have to take it, or are they given a choice? Would an achievement like this leave us wanting more, or would it ultimately leave us less content with the time that we have? So, to contrast the hypothetical picture we painted a couple minutes ago, let's paint a realistic one. I asked different people, friends, teachers, parents, siblings, what they would do if they didn't have to sleep, and here is what they came up with. One of my teachers claimed he would spend his time reading and painting, simply an extension of his normal behavior. My brother said he would use the time to discover new music and unearth mind-blowing artists, while my grandmother was pretty convinced that she would travel the world. A parent claimed that she would use the time to watch more episode of, episodes of the show Friends, which is quite the idea if you ask me, and a friend uh, made very clear that not sleeping would be horrible and he'd probably kill himself. He should maybe get help. He also said he would use it to learn new things and take on additional interests. So as I continued asking more people, I began to see a pattern forming. Nine out of ten times, extra time means people will use it to develop themselves into richer, deeper versions of their current selves. Now, evidently, there are a lot of kinks and issues that need to be worked out, and a lot of questions that need to be answered, undoubtedly. But I'm sure that one day we will get there, especially at the rate that technology is developing and progressing. And just the sheer idea that it is a work in progress, that something out there is being researched and experimented, something that could one day give us the potential of 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks of the year, and every year of our lives, lives that could be lived richer, deeper, and more vibrantly than ever before, that is an idea that can change the world.